Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angle on Oweleke TV. My name is Jibrin, and once again, as usual, we have um, Apostle Indifreke Imo as our guest, special guest, always special to, to me and to us. And uh, yes, we shall be talking um, about, we shall be discussing the life of Joseph in the book of Genesis. We all know, if you're a Christian, you know Joseph. Even, even Muslims, they know Joseph. So, um, so the, he's the one the Muslims refer to as Yusuf. It's a, um, a sort of, so that is who we shall be discussing about um, today with our apostle. We're believing God that uh, he will give us, uh, especially apostle, the grace to, is, to be inspired and be informed um, and guided as well through uh, God's manifestation in the life of uh, Joseph in the book of um, Genesis. Joseph, um, as Christians, we know Joseph for one common thing, but several other things, but one common thing. Um, and all those, uh, whatever uh, Joseph was identified, wait um we shall be talking about all that as we go move forward on this program um before then um let's welcome uh, apostle Ndifreke Imo once again man of god thank you once again for creating time to to, to be with us it's a pleasure thank you for having me once again Don't all right um me. yeah let's go uh, straight to the point but before them um Please, uh, can you do the usual ritual for us yeah. and, uh, by opening with a um, word of prayer? Hallelujah. Glory <laughs> be to Jesus. I yeah. want to thank God for keeping you and I and our viewers alive. We thank God for his goodness and his mercies that we cannot quantify. We thank God for his blessings and all he has done. Once again, he has brought us here a great platform that he has created to reach out to us, to correct certain things, to add, and to inspire us to live for him. Therefore, I pray today that the Holy Spirit will take us to another dimension of light, illumination. It will inspire our insight. Right. The key things that we need to know that will add value and advance the course of our work with God in the life of Joseph the Holy Spirit will open it up to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May we not speak based on our own understanding and knowledge. May we speak as he gives us utterance and unction in Amen. the name of Jesus. And Amen. to you out there, I pray that you will come with a simple heart because the gospel is a simple gospel. And you will be open. Your ears will be open. The mind of your spirit will be active, receptive mm. to receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will use this episode to answer somebody's question. God will use Amen. this episode to give somebody hope. God will use this episode to help somebody out of confusion, out of Amen. every dilemma that they have found themselves. Holy Amen. Spirit, have your way today. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, man of God. So, um, yeah, viewers, you. as you had earlier, uh, this is Jibril Angle on Oweleke TV. We are discussing, we shall be talking about the life of uh, Joseph in the book of Genesis. We all know Joseph and, and his um, what God uh, did in his life. Um, we have um, Apostle Indifreke Imo as our special and regular guest to actually um, dissect this whole thing, um, this whole story um, with us. Um, we are believing God that to help us through him as a vessel to actually minister to our spirits in Jesus' name. So man of God, um, please. Um, yes, uh, Joseph, can you please um, tell us about the life of Joseph? What um, was his life like? What, um, how did God manifest himself through him and in him? Um, yeah. How, what was he used 
to do what God. So there are areas uh, I think God used him as a vessel to actually um, do do something um, um, for the Israelites. Uh, so please um, tell us. Um, just uh, go ahead and uh, expand on the life of Joseph. Yeah, praise God. Um, Joseph, you know, if you look at the Bible, we have so many Josephs that, you know, play key roles um, um, in, in God's agenda. Like this Joseph is one. Yeah. Um, uh, Joseph of Arimathea is another one that prepared the tomb of Jesus. And um, uh, Joseph, that was the foster father of Jesus Christ. So there were so many Joseph that were key that God, you know, used to fulfill his agenda. When you look at the life of Joseph, Joseph was a man unpicked by God because of a prophecy to Abraham that the children that will be got from Abraham will go into slavery. And it was through Joseph that they found themselves in the land of Egypt by being sold. Now, we, 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 we are looking at the life of Joseph, but let us look at the background so that we can draw lessons, you know, even from his own family. Like I used to say to parents, please, we are parents and God has blessed us with children. And there is always a tendency to have a dear child, one that is very close to you. We need wisdom. We need God's wisdom to be able to balance whatsoever we are doing so that we don't attract trouble to the one that is very close to our heart. That was, you know, the problem of Joseph. You know, um, uh, the father showed so much love, um, you know, to Joseph, and it was very obvious, and that triggered envy and, you know, sibling rivalry. Um, um, though I see that as a pathway to the fulfillment of prophecy that Joseph will be sold out like Jesus Christ and you know the movement to Egypt will be achieved now looking at the life of Joseph very powerful lifestyle he was a teenager number one Joseph was a teenager and when you look at the Bible in Genesis chapter 39 from verse 1, reading down to verse 4, where he was now serving in the house of Potiphar, the Bible says that Joseph found grace in the sight of the master Potiphar. You know, let me read it here. Verse 4, and Joseph found grace, Genesis 39, in his sight. And he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had, he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Now I used to tell people, I say, if you find yourself somewhere, what can be the testimony of your life? Find myself walking with you. What is my testimony? What will be the testimony of the man that I'm serving? Because of my presence. The presence of Jesus changed everything. Why? Because God was with Joseph. God was with Joseph. Joseph had grace. Every one of us will have grace. What do we do with the grace that we have? The Bible says that Joseph found grace and Joseph did something with the grace. Joseph deployed it in serving. Joseph deployed the grace in serving. Like I said to people, grace does not work in a vacuum. 
That is why Paul speaking in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 21, he said, I make sure that I don't treat the grace of God in my life anyhow. I don't treat it in, with levity. I don't allow the grace to be redundant. I deploy the grace to do something. And that was what Joseph did. Very important. One of the things that you will notice is that Joseph was an administrator in the house. And when the master saw that Joseph was doing well, the master increased his capacity, increased his position. That is what grace does. He promotes a man. When you are working on that, like you were talking about, you know, the young lady, you saw her zeal, you saw her impute, and as a result of that, you gave her more commitment, you gave her more responsibility. Like I said to people, see, we, we, we are giving according to the measure of our capacity. And as you, you cannot be promoted to a higher capacity when you have not proven what you have done with the previous capacity. So it's your previous capacity that determines your elevation. And that was what happened to Joseph. But do you know something? God that knows the end from the beginning was training Joseph in the area of administration. And Joseph just deployed himself. Joseph did not even know what was awaiting him at the end. Joseph did not know that that little thing he was putting together, he was organizing, he was crossing the teeth, he was dotting the eyes that there is a bigger office that was waiting for him. Because we serve a God that is a God of process. We serve a God that takes you from one stage to the other. He will never bypass the process. He can never bypass the process. Joseph started by dreaming. In Genesis chapter 37, Joseph dreamt. And he himself did not even know the meaning of his dream. And he told his father. And the father said, ah, so do you mean that you, myself, and your mother, and your sibling will all bow down to you? Joseph did not even know. But you see, as Joseph progresses, we must progress from one level to the other. You know, we saw Joseph from dreaming. We saw Joseph now growing to interpret dreams. In Genesis chapter 40 in the prison, we saw Joseph interpreted dreams. God was training him. God was building him because a dream will come to Pharaoh that will demand Joseph to come and interpret dream. And then there will be a fulfillment of prophecy. Another point that I want to point out, very powerful point, is that Joseph had the fear of the Lord. Joseph had the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is an attraction of God's presence. He said that my eye runneth to and fro the earth to show myself strong on the behalf of those that love me and fear me. The fear of the Lord is an attraction to God. And how do we see the fear of the Lord in the life of Joseph? In that very same chapter 39, the wife of Potiphar cast her eyes on Joseph. My God. Number one, it's an opportunity for Joseph to have misbehaved. Nobody will know. Madame will protect Joseph. Madame will be speaking for Joseph. Joseph will become everything. You know, Madame will be doing everything. But Joseph chose to go down with God than to stand and shine with man. If it takes me going down, that is my philosophy. If it takes me going down for Jesus, keep whatsoever, keep your offer, keep your wealth, keep your heaven and the earth. Let me stand for Jesus. Because I know at the end of the day, Jesus that I'm standing with will vindicate me. Look at what happened from verse 9. He said, you know, and it came to pass from verse 7 of chapter 39. 
And it came to pass after these things that his master cast, master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and she said, lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, behold, my master was not what is with me in the house. And he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but you. Because thou art his wife, his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So Joseph was looking at God at the central point of his action. Anything that we, we, we do, please, we should put God first. Any action you want to take, put God first. Any decision we want to take, put God first. So, Any choice we want to make, we should do what? Put God God's first. first. Joseph was a man that fears God. And when you look at verse 21, after they casted him into the prison, wow, I love verse 21. It said, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. So even inside the prison, God was with him. So it doesn't matter where you find yourself. God can never abandon you. Isaiah chapter 42, he says that, you know, that uh, when you pass through the fire, I am here with you. We saw it in the life of the Hebrew boys, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He said that when you pass through the waters, I am there with you. We saw it in the life of Jonah. Even when he was in the belly of the fish, God shut down the metabolic process of the fish so that he will not be broken down because God needed him to go for an assignment. So wherever we find ourselves, in the lion's den, we saw it in the life of, um, um, uh, what do you call it, Daniel. God shut the mouth of the lion. God made the fire to become like AC. Wherever you and I find ourselves, know that God can never abandon you. Know that God can never turn his back on you. As long as you are aligned with God, as long as you are standing with God, God can never leave you. God gave him, you know, a position in the prison. Even the keeper of the prison fell in love with him. And Acts chapter 9, you know, verse 7 to 10 has this report that God was with Joseph. God was with Joseph. When the Petrarch envied Joseph and sold him into prison, into slavery, God was with Joseph. And God gave him favor and wisdom before the almighty Pharaoh. And he made him to be second in command. So, we have to stand with God. Another critical point is that we have to wait for our time. Mm. Yes, you wait. The Bible is speaking in the book of Psalm 105, reading downward. It says that until his word came, until Joseph's word came, We have to go through the season of God's process. You cannot be faster than God. When he interpreted the dream of the prisoners in chapter 40 of Genesis, he said to them, please remember to mention me before the king. And because the cycle of his process was not completed, he remained there for two years extra. Until the process was completed, that is when God triggered up the situation that will bring about his remembrance. And so, if we, we see, he is a king God. He is not one God that you send on errand. So, Lord, we, you and I cannot do anything for a baby to grow faster in the womb. The baby must go through the nine-month cycle. Of pregnancy, grow, come out tomorrow, grow, and come out tomorrow. Those are those foolishness. Mm. We cannot, you know, when God has ordained a timing for you, because the Bible says that um, you know He has time for everything, and He makes all things beautiful in His own time. Sometimes His permissive will allow us to get something, and those things become aborted. All right. Um, 
let's I'm trying to let's see if we can make this interactive. Um, okay. While while you go, um, I have a I have um, a, a question. Um, okay. I, I have see. two major points that I just want to. Yes, you. I can just round up. No, okay. you will continue. I want this to be. I want it to be okay, interactive. Okay. 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 Interactive. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You will continue with your point. So just okay. note your point down. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So I want us to um, make it interactive as you speak. If there's yeah. a question that comes okay. to mind, I will ask you. Okay. Now, um, okay. God showed to Joseph. God showed to Joseph twice what his destiny was. Um, okay. Now there is this. Uh, the, the Bible records that um, that Joseph discussed this, disclosed the, the dreams, the vision to yes. his entire family, yes. not just the parent, not just the dad, his yes. entire family, because yes. uh, that yes. that was the genesis yes. of Joseph's problem, because his older siblings actually found out yes. about the dream. That means. It was probably, he disclosed it in the presence of probably when the entire family were around, the father and the, his other yeah. uh, siblings. Now, you know, mm -hmm. there is this thing that, uh, there is this popular saying um, in the Christendom, um, within Christians that, uh, not even Christians, even believers, believers will tell you some, look, if you, if God shows you, so if you, if you have something in the offing, if God showed you something, if you are, don't, do mm -hmm. not disclose, so there are secrets you don't tell people. Because you don't know who your enemy is, a sort of um, that we end up puncturing whatever it is that you have disclosed yeah. um, to others. Now, my question is this: yeah. okay. Is it right going by what happened with Joseph in the life of okay. Joseph? Is it right okay. for us to open? Okay, we receive the revelation from God of probably a personality. For instance, okay. I received a, received a revelation, just like Joseph had a dream. I had this dream okay. and probably had it even more than twice, multiple times. Okay. Um, uh, so is it right for me to discuss it with random people, as much as people who cares to know, probably with the uh, view of, just like Joseph, finding out what could be the meaning of this, I've had it this time, I have had it this time, I've had it this time. Different dreams, but similar thing that points at one, the same one direction. Um, so what is your, because generally we Christians criticize that, do, do not just pray about it and wait on God. What if after praying, God give me interpretation, what is the meaning of this? And yet nothing. Now, let's go back to Joseph. Joseph didn't even talk about He just went straight out of curiosity to find out what this is true. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in your own, in your own uh, judgment or opinion or understanding, mm -hmm. should mm -hmm. a believer mm -hmm. discuss some private issues, issues that borders one's destiny mm -hmm. with any other person? Yes, um, uh, in the case of Joseph, Joseph was a very young man and was very naive. And so what came to him was bigger than, than him. Bigger than him in, in the sense that Joseph was just but a child and he never knew, he did not know how to direct his affairs. You understand? Like I said to people, I said, what I posted it some times ago. I said, what they don't know, they can't destroy. You must learn to hide and flourish. I believe in keeping certain things matters of destiny. To myself, like you rightly say, that, you know, um, the Holy Spirit, thank God for the dispensation. There is nothing that we go the Holy Spirit that will not give us if we set our heart to him that he will give us interpretation. And also, you know, we have, you know, in our journey in life, 
we have, you know, um, men that perhaps a father, a mentor that we, you know, we have worked with and we have built a level of confidence, a level of trust. You know, I've had a couple of things, not dream, you know, a couple of issues, you know, and uh, I've kept it to myself, you know, prayed about it, and you understand, and it became so burdensome and worrisome. You understand? And I mean, specifically, I, I, I just came back from, you know, East Africa then, you know, and I was surprised that Apostle Ansel and Madubuko was following me in all of my programs. And the first program he did, you know, I, I was in the attendance. And he now said, oh, Apostle to the East Africa. I said, ah, you, he said, yes, I was following you. More grace to you. Immediately, the Holy Spirit just prompted me. He said, open up and discuss this matter with him. And I said, sir, please, can I have audience with you? I don't go to men of God. I don't, um, um, I don't um, uh, open myself to go to men of God. So I, I gave me an appointment and I went and I told him everything. Wow. He gave me a counsel. He gave me a counsel that is the victory point till tomorrow over that very matter. That matter, the counsel he gave me, that matter was resolved. So Joseph made a mistake. Like I said, he was but a child and he was naive. Now, okay, me, I, I view it differently. Um, I understand okay. this differently because um, okay. uh, I, I, I have what this is where I differ with so many believers. Um, I've always okay. believed in what will be, would be. Um, okay. Whatever God has destined you to be, no witchcraft, nobody, no enemy can alter it. They can only try to delay it. And that delay, delay. and that delay is part of the process, just like in the case of Joseph. Joseph did not make a mistake. Joseph was only fulfilling God's what did will. We were, Joseph what was did only you know something. It was, sorry, go ahead. You said what? Do you know something? You know, I differ with you in that direction, in the sense that you know, God could give us something. And this is written, you know, like, like tomorrow, now what I'm preaching, I'll be talking about consigning what is written, consigning you. Jesus Christ carried the Bible in Psalm chapter 40 and said that consigning the things that are written, consigning me. He started reading it when he went into the temple. But do you know that if Joseph has missed it, we know the sovereignty of God. We know the sovereignty of God. By messing up with Potiphar's wife, he would have truncated his destiny. Now, again, part of the thing. So, if you, if you, you see, the 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 prophecy is there, the vision is there, the the future that God has carved out for you is there. We must be aligned. We cannot walk contrary to what God, you know, has ordained for us, and we expect those things to be manifested. No, I believe in responsibility. Yeah, hold on. Now, the thing okay. is, the thing is, Joseph's case was a revelation about his okay. destiny. It's a different ballgame okay. from what you had, uh, what other people we may have. You have a revelation about an, an issue, a problem, or an issue, or whatever. No, this is the yeah, you have a okay. problem about issue, it's different from you have a you have a revelation about your future, your destiny, your okay. personality. These are two different board games. Now, now, why I I I I am I differ with you on this is because I do not see that as 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 a mistake. I see that I see Joseph's name, what you call naivety, as okay. the will of God to actualize his purpose in his life. Because um, if he hadn't been taken sold out to the Egyptians. He wouldn't have been in Egypt in the first place. If he hadn't resisted Potiphar's wife, mm -hmm. again, you mentioned grace. Now, when mm -hmm. when God, when one's destiny, grace is upon one's destiny, 
If when oil is upon somebody, uh, the call of God is upon someone's head, automatically it attracts grace. It's an automatic grace. The moment God has I'm ordained I'm you, God. appointed you to do I'm something for him. Happy. Yes. That's I'm what I, 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 I am coming to that. That's, that's what I'm trying to okay. prove to you. I'm trying to prove to you that, that, that what you call naivety was actually the will of God. Now, okay. that the moment God appoints you in any form or shadow from your mother's womb, or when you were conceived, or when you were given birth to, what, at whatever point God chose to appoint you for something, either to work for him or to achieve a purpose, an automatic grace comes upon you. Grace okay. to pass through temptations, grace to withstand, grace sometimes to even fall into temptation, arise again. Sometimes, okay. let me be frank with you, even if Joseph had fallen into that adultery or fornication, because grace was upon him, something could have happened again because when grace is upon someone, the person does some unusual things, makes some kind of mistakes and God overlooks. A sort of, so in the case of Joseph now, to prove that it was God, so whatever, you just mentioned something, that's what I was coming to. The second okay. point. Okay. Because if Joseph hadn't opened up to this, to his family, his siblings to be precise, mm. Mm. there couldn't have been antagonists. Okay. Um, okay. Household enemies, and okay. if there if there were if there that, if there was no household enemy, was nothing like them. Yes, they wouldn't have been sold. It would, it wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have, have, have been slavery. sold. He wouldn't have passed so, gone through slavery, gone God, through those sufferings or whatever. Yeah. So God That's actually insane. laid that foundation for the enemy to for the devil to take charge temporarily. The devil took charge. I preach when, a message when when he I opened up. When he opened up, it was a foundation for the devil, an invitation for the devil to creep in. Oh. God folded his hand and just allowed, allowed the devil to creep in. And the devil crept in. From there, for a time, for a time and season, God allowed the devil to take charge. And the devil was smiling and laughing. Okay, he was so. First of all, they attempted to kill him. That is why you cannot kill God once death. You just cannot. The moment there is an oil on someone, no matter what you try to do, you cannot. Yeah. Let, Remember let how me, they tried to kill him? Yeah. Let me pull out a revelation there. Yeah. You understand? Let me pull out a revelation there. You know, I preached a message concerning Joseph, and the message was titled, It's All in the Plan. That message. Was one of the messages those days. It's all in the plan. Yes. It's all in the plan. You understand? So, one of the revelations that God gave to me, you know, Joseph was like a type of Jesus. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, sold for, you know, amount of uh, the pieces of sliver. Now, the brothers decided that. Somebody rose up, Judah rose up and said, No, let's not kill our brother. It's our blood. And they now caught a ram and slaughtered the ram. That was an atonement, but they did not know. That was an atonement. The blood of Joseph that would have gone down, the blood of the lamb went down. And as a result of that, the life of Joseph was secured and preserved. And they came with evidence that look at his blood, look at his cloth, an animal has eaten him up. But they never knew in God's spiritual technology and system that it was an atonement that was made for the preservation of the life of Joseph. No, again, man of God, honestly, I do yeah. not, I, I, I don't, I don't agree with you on that again. Okay. Um, because Atonement for what? Joseph was completely innocent. What was he? What would he be atoned for? He was completely innocent. 
So it was it, me. I saw that killing. See, it, of, it, 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 look, because there was there was no way. It was, it was a substantiation for his life. No, I'm honestly, telling you, uh, his uh, life would have gone. But you see, God is just like in the case of Abraham and Isaac. And God brought a ram to substantiate for the life. No, that, that, this is uh, a man of God. This is completely a different scenario. This is someone that was supposed to be killed. The other brothers wanted to kill him. And Judah said, no, let's not whatever. Let's do this and whatever. Okay. They decided to slaughter. Okay. How could they have disguised? How could they have told, told, told their brother? How could their father have believed them? Without the blood, that is just the truth. But they they don't, have to slaughter they something. Don't. They have to get a blood. Yeah, but, so but, actually, but of, they don't need to have anything. Is God is God. I want you to properly look at this. I mean, carefully. It was a revelation. Well, in the course of study, I never heard it anywhere, and nobody has ever preached it. In the course of study, while I was preparing for the message years ago. And God dropped that in my spirit. So I, I will, you know, let's leave it at that. But just prayerfully meditate over it. And maybe God no, Almighty. No, we cannot. You know, no, no. Listen, we can't leave it. I want to make sense out of atonement because when you come, when you mention atonement, we all know what. Okay, let me let me remove the word atonement. He his life was substantiated. You know, it was like the lamb replaced where he would have been killed. The lamb was killed. Now you don't you 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 don't get it. Um, okay. The people atoning for his you, you so called people you said were atoning were were atoning for his sin for him for his life rather. Um, they, 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 they were supposed they, to be. Listen, when no, you they, say, not, they did not understand. They did not. They did not know that that was what they were doing spiritually. They just felt that this is what to do in order to prove a point that Joseph is dead. But spiritually, God was using it to achieve something else. They did not know. They didn't do it as in they are turning for, his, for him. Well, honestly, um, anyway, you say it's a revelation, a revelation personal revelation yeah. to you, but yeah. That that doesn't make sense spiritually to me either. Let me be frank with you because um, Joseph was um, th these are these were killers. The people, the, so like, sorry, the people were supposed to be enemies who wanted to. Why will an enemy um, be the one to slaughter an animal to atone for someone's life when this is? Um, and besides, there was no obeisance made after they are, after this. They just slaughtered this animal, normal, whatever, and just sprinkled the blood on the cloth, on the on the on Joseph's clothes, and uh, took it to the father. There was no whatever, no form of an obeisance, no form of worship, no form of whatever. So it's just it was just a, a uh, to me, it wasn't a ritual. Let me use that word. It was just um, a, a ploy to actually cover up. Their, their, their sins, a sort of, and that was why immediately the the, the 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 Egyptians came around. They just they just said, okay, ah, let us okay, let's even pull him out, um, and sell it, sell him to uh, up to the uh, off to the Egyptians, or so that from there we'll never see him again. And that was it. And that and and it was the same Judah that actually bought. But that actually, and that was why actually they decided, okay, what do we tell our father? Okay, then I said, okay, let us, we need blood. Let's get somewhere. Go like the, the worst part, the truth is, we, we don't even know. I can't even remember. I can't remember. Uh, the Bible didn't record. There's no record of the type of whatever, what they killed. Is there any record? But it was an animal. It has to be an animal. Yeah, but it's an animal. Of course it's an animal. Yeah, but of course, what did they will kill again for the animal? So that's my point. Now, if the Bible didn't record or whatever, because if, I want if it is something, if it is if it is something that has to do with spiritual connotation, usually there are certain animals that the sheep they you have to slaughter uh, a calf, uh, a sheep, um, a ram, or uh, what do you call it? Um, um, what what does the Bible call it? Um, what is the biblical mm -hmm. name? No, I forgot it by blue name. So, yeah, but no, 
that you just you have to kill that whatever. So those are the things that that connotes spirituality. A sort of not uh, some kind of random. Somebody picks one kind of random animal that does not even have name. A sort of so because if the Bible wanted us to whatever, it, you would have the Bible. They could have been recorded that sat this particular and kind of animal which has some spiritual connotation was actually killed. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. But now back to my point. Um, again, just like I was saying, God, it, it was mm. God, it was all in God's purpose. Yeah, sorry, what, that, that, that is a mention of the animal that what was kind of, killed. What, what is the name of the animal? Um, it took the and killed he of the goats and deep goats. Sorry, so, Lord. hold on. Sorry, can I... A kid. A kid. Of the goats. So now go then kill. So that's the point. Oh. Usually, when it comes to spiritual correlation, we don't use goats. The Bible does not usually the record the record yeah. sheep. Yes, you know what what I'm you know what I'm saying is this: the people that were doing it were not doing it, you know, that they were doing it in defense of their action, but spiritually. I mean, from my own revelation, they were not doing that. Let us do this. So it's a ritual. No, my my, my, my own my own is the, the defense for their actual okay. of as what it, that that, you know, okay, that we that, want to um, something. This is what happened to our brother. Our brother died. You know, when you read through that very place, you know, you will see all the argument that led to. Um, uh, no, I, I I want you, man of God. I want you to give me the real spirit. The, if, if you say you receive revelation concerning this, I need you to give me the spiritual benefit of that. I need the explanation of that. I need to get. Let me benefit something from that as well. Uh, even though I okay, do not, but okay, if you can, okay, I need to okay, be convinced okay, that okay, there was okay. that there is a reason why God, why such thing happened. I need explanation for the spiritual benefit. What okay. was or what is okay. the spiritual benefit? Of that. Okay. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've been talking about, you know, that Joseph was ordained for XYZ purposes. Yes. The prophecy was there. They will go into the land. And at the end of the day, how will they go into the land? It was through, you know, the vision, the life of Joseph, that they will go into the land. If Joseph was killed, you know that that is aborted. But you said something that God's vision can be delayed. It cannot be aborted. Yes. Now, and rightly you said that God folded his hand and allowed so many things to happen. Why? The devil does not have a general view of what God wants to do. Yes. The devil does not have a foresight of the tomorrow of God. Yeah. He has an inkling, you know, and as a result of that, he will be fighting. But he does not know that in his fighting, he is helping to fulfill the purpose of God. A good example is Jesus Christ. The Bible says that if he knew that by killing Jesus, that would be his total defeat, he wouldn't have attempted. He would have avoided Jesus completely. If he knew that going to Egypt will bring about the fulfillment of the life God's purpose, of Joseph. Yeah. Yes, purpose. You understand? Uh, he wouldn't have attempted it. And if Joseph had died, that vision is completely terminated. And so, like I am saying, by my own revelation in the place of study, that blood Hebrews chapter 9, when you read from verse 11, it says that if the blood of goats, the blood of sheep, the blood yes. of heifer and bulls can make atonement for um, uh, once in a year, how much more the precious blood of Jesus Christ that is without sin and without wrinkle and without spot, will it not purge our heart from dead works? Now you are saying of Joseph was innocent. We don't know the full background. 
No, the football guys are he was innocent. There's nothing, there's no two. You I there's it's, we, it's, 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 uh, it's unambiguous. Sorry, sorry, okay. it is it is unambiguous. That was the truth. Okay, Just like yeah, going through okay. the scriptures, we believe the scriptures. Okay. Okay. What God recorded, what the Bible records. Okay. So we are going by it, and okay. as far as the scripture okay. is concerned. It, okay. it was that that story is unambiguous. Joseph was a very you've said it before that he was a teenager who was naive. He was okay. an innocent okay. teenager, a okay. naive okay. teenager with a shallow mind. Uh, from from my revelation and what God showed to me, yes. that while they were doing that to disguise, he was spiritually. He ordained that for the preservation of the life of Joseph. So blood, the blood of Jesus Christ was not there. So to them, they did this to disguise, to, de to, to, to deceive the father, you know, to beguile their father, but God was using it to achieve something spiritual for the preservation of the life of Joseph. So please, just um, um, anyway, me... um, let let's move forward from that. But honestly, yes, yes, um, yes. um, it 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 has not it it has not clicked. Well, it has not clicked. It, yes, um, if your heart is on it, God can also you know give you a um, you know. Yeah, my own, my that... own. Honestly, my own is honestly um everything scripturally. There is always. Mm -hmm. a, it's either symbolic or there is a purpose, or there was a purpose why God, why certain God things. God bless so, you, sir. You have just said a point that hit on something symbolic. Symbolic. The preservation of his life is like the symbolic ram that was slaughtered. Jesus Christ. It, I mean, to me, it's symbolic. No, that, 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 that's not like honestly, I do not again. Okay, I, that, I, okay. anyway, that you and I will, I doubt if you and I will come to uh agreement on, on, uh, on this matter because, um, um, it, it I will visit it again prayerfully it, and I want you to do the same thing so that uh, you know, that very aspect, so that just leave you be open minded. Yeah, no, 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 that is, I am, yeah. I am open-minded. That is why I am still giving you room. I gave you the uh, room to convince me. I'm open-minded because I want to get, I want to receive that kind of revelation you received. I want to be benefit, I want mm. to benefit from that as well. That's why I'm, of course, I'm open-minded. But at the same time, okay. I'm trying to make sense out of it. It's not, it's not, okay. it's not clicking yet. But okay. let's move, let's move, let's move from okay. that. We'll probably will okay. visit okay. that maybe another time or another day or whatever. But that is just it now. Okay. Okay. Um, back okay. to <clears throat> excuse me, God's purpose in the life of Joseph. Now remember, I was talking about is it good? Is it good for someone to open up or whatever? Honestly, going by what happened in the life of Joseph, Joseph, um, I don't see anything wrong there. If you out of curiosity, out of trying to okay. get a confirmation. Um, you need okay. someone from an interpretation and confirmation of probably what you okay. are suspecting that could okay. be the, the the interpretation for such dream or whatever. But but uh, you have to be careful. Like I said, you won't have to be very very careful. Yes, you don't, uh, like you know, yeah, you don't, yeah, uh, generally, yeah. there is no doubt. But you have to be careful. But at the same time, let me be frank with you. Again, while you are careful, yes, but mm. what will be again? Again, I repeat that what will be mm. will be. Um, I hear men of God talking about um, um, someone not fulfilling his destiny. He died not fulfilling that you can die without fulfilling your destiny. That is a blatant lie. From it's an error, error. I repeat that it's an error. When I hear some, sometimes I hear from great men of God that ah, this person you can die. This person died without fulfilling his or her destiny, or someone who can die without fulfilling his or her can I, can I ask? Can I, can, I, can I ask a question by telling you a story? Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Um, my younger brother died at the age of 27. Okay. 
through a very terrible error. My younger brother was just a young pastor in Abuja. My younger brother had vision of things that he said God told him on record, captured. The, the church he would build for God in the land of Abuja. My younger brother died at the age of 27. You know my dad, my dad was in the military. My dad, yes, was promoted when he traveled. He was posted from Medugri to, he was posted from Medugri to Calabar. You know, whenever they post you. You don't, you don't remind me of, you. I, say, I, don't, I don't forget, it's like you are Barak, now Barak boy, you be. Uh, you, you are you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, you are Barak boy, you remember very well. <laughs> When they transfer you close to your place, that means it is in view of preparation for your retirement. So they transferred me from Medugri down to Akum Barracks in Calabar. And then in the military, normally when you are transferred, your salary for three months will still be running in your old location before they prepare all your documentation and everything to your new location. Okay. So my dad was going to collect his salary you know, of January in, in the month of February, 1st of February, he left Calabar to get to Medugri, you know, by road, by 2nd of um, February, you know, for his January salary. My father had an accident and died. Meanwhile, you know, he was promoted. Sorry, brother. Was, yeah, thank you. He was promoted in the Nigerian army. And everything about him will still reflect in his old location until after three months, mere document will be, you know, established Moved. in this. Yes. His promotion, he, he received a signal that he has been promoted. So on going there with that joy to go and get his new promotion, he died in Bulunkutu. That was where they had, as they arrived early morning of, you know, that day, they had a terrible accident and they all died. You understand? All of them in front of the vehicle, they all died, you know. Mm -hmm. So my father, you know, was buried with a new rank. Yeah, okay. Yes, with a new rank. Now, would you say in that, in view of those two stories now, that they fulfilled their destiny? Yes. They did? Yes, yes. And now let me tell you something about you see this is this is this is one of those things. I told you there is one topic and one controversial I know, topic or whatever. I know it's still down yeah, to, oh, that's yeah, it's still, it's still yeah, boils down. Yeah, correct. So um that is just and yeah. I have a lot of scriptures to back up some of this understanding and revelations I got. Um stands ranging from okay. Genesis to up to Revelation. I have scriptures for that. A sort of, and that is why I told you it's okay. it's a it's a topic that I've been want I've been I've been desiring to to, to actually treat it, but I just I need someone who can actually someone who is a, a man of God. Sorry, I mean you don't have a release yet. Yes, so because I, I, I don't have it because I need someone can that can actually contradict me and contradict me very firmly. Because I want to see, I, I am interested a, in that a sort of. So I, I need know, someone I to contradict that. Because yeah. yeah, So that is just now coming back to what we're talking about. Okay. Um. I I, I did I did a, I did something about this topic. Was it two or three weeks ago? When this uh, you remember when this uh, popular actor or uh, junior pope died? Yes. 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 I made it okay. I think I'll follow that that clip that to bring anger. I did okay, just please. alone. I tried to. I made okay. some comments and give reason. I quoted scriptures of why uh, the boy did it. It was just meant for him to die. It was not a premature death. Okay. It was just whatever. It just whatever. Now, what I believe is that. So you oh, sorry. So you don't believe that there is anything like premature death? No, I don't believe that. I don't. No. Okay. That is wrong. Okay. Scripturally, I have I, I quoted scriptures to back that, and scripturally it is wrong. There is nothing like premature death. Um, death is okay. your time as is was was fulfilled or has been fulfilled, and that is the way it is. Okay. I, whatever I believe in, I 
back it up scripturally. Then if you think otherwise, give me a scripture that con 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 contradicts that. Then we'll discuss. And so if you cannot give me a scripture that contradicts that, that can prove, that can actually prove to me that that um, some deaths are premature, why some are not. You can actually prove to me that some destinies can be fulfilled, why some cannot, will not be fixed, fulfilled. Uh, then we cannot, we, I, 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 I'm ready to succumb to that, but so far, I don't believe that. When, whenever you are ready for that topic, just let me know so that we, we can do justice to it. I am. I have been ready for years, man of God. I have been ready. I have been okay. ready for years. I'm only, my problem is, okay. I am trying not to because sometimes some things when some people who are not who do not have understanding who are not mature spiritually, um, yeah. you read some yeah. things wrongly. Um, they start yeah. misbehaving, they go mis that, I, and that's why I'm very cautious. I'm very cautious okay. um, about it. But at the okay. same time, whatever okay. I am doing is just, I'm just for that. I just need, okay. what I need is to discuss this. I need someone who can brilliantly, brilliantly yes, um, contra um, contradict I can, all the scriptures that I'm going yes, to Yes, I, I can, I can co-opt somebody that on such day maybe we all come together on that, that that would be great because i need someone that can prove yes. i need someone that who will not to kind who okay. will because i really okay. want to be this okay. i want to believe the other okay. way i am open okay. Okay, to believe the other okay. way but i have okay. so many scriptures that actually okay. is, is is on my side but i want okay. to i want to believe the other way and i need okay. Okay. someone who is well cooked well vast in the okay. in the interpretation of the scripture that can actually okay. persuade me that it is not this but it is that a sort of I would, but, I, I would discuss with my pastor friend tomorrow the one you, you know the province pastor you know no, okay. very, yeah I, I mean i'm seeing him the province pastor where i'm going for this program tomorrow he is very sound yeah I'll good um yes and yeah. just like you said honestly i'll prefer I'll, I'll, I'll prefer both of you or even more because i need more people to be on that side than just me myself because okay. like i said i okay. need to ask questions why is it this okay why is this written okay. why is that written okay. if if i cannot get clear answers i need that okay. those clear answers why it is like okay. that and why it is it's okay. written that way and that way or whatever okay. so that is just okay. it so uh, okay. back to back to our point, my, my point. Now, okay. Um, destiny is destiny, and yeah. Joseph was just fulfilling his destiny. And, and when it comes to for destiny fulfillment, there is a process to it. And if it is something that has to do with prosperity or or or, 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 or positivity or whatever, prosperity could mm. be material, it could be health, it could be anything or whatever. That God wants mm. to do something special in your life. That means the way will be very, very rough. In some cases, very, yes. very, very yeah. rough. Yeah. Yes. Now tell me, tell yes. me, if it was not God's will for Joseph to open up to his brothers, as such, um, falling into falling prey of their evil thoughts or evil, evil yeah. plan, plots, uh, how could he, how could Joseph, how could what he became how could that verses be fulfilled? Yes, how could how could what he became in, uh, in uh, at Egypt come uh, come to uh, bear? That's yeah. the point. No, like uh, yeah, like because I told God's you, testimony. Yeah. God's testimony. There is there is no their testimony does not go with bread and butter. You must pass through the Bible. Said the Book of Job said after being Job said after being tested and tried as gold. Sorry, after being tested and tried, I shall come out as gold. Gold, the gold we cherish and admire, and every or whatever, everybody so, so cherish and admires it. We are but we cherish it. Me, it passes it has let, 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 let me, out to be this that beautiful. Yeah, let me say something. Let me say yes. something. You understand? That will that will help us. And it's one of the points that, you know, one of the points. Let me just talk about one of the points, you know, and ask the question here. You see. If, if, like they said that if purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Yes. So if God gives a vision and 
Purpose is not understood. Do, do you see it? Hold on, man of God. Um, um, do, you still remember, do you still remember the book of Genesis where God said, okay. for this purpose have I created him? Okay. Yes. When, when they, when, yes. When, when they said, when, 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 they, when, they, when, they, when God was telling Moses what to do about Pharaoh. Exodus. He said, he said yeah, Exodus. He, sorry, Exodus, sorry. He said, go and yeah. do this. Go and tell him this. Tell him that. Tell him that. And mm -hmm. God said, he will not believe you. He will still mm -hmm. go ahead with your, his, 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 mm -hmm. his evil plot. Why? Because the same Bible said, hold on, man of God. Hold on, man of God. The same Bible said, the same Bible said, listen, uh -uh. that the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. Uh -huh. He turneth it yeah. either so ever he wills. Uh -huh. So yeah. that is just the truth. You don't say that is Pharaoh. You, Pharaoh. Pharaoh was a human uh, being. Like he, he, yes, no, but it's his own case. You know, it's not applicable to everybody. No, hold on. I want to read a scripture. Yes. You understand? That made that that Joseph, Joseph understood purpose. Yes. One of the things I have Joseph, Joseph understood purpose. Because in the final analysis, when it was revealed, look at what Joseph said in chapter 50 and verse 19. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in, for am I in the place of God? Verse 20. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass. No, hold on. Hold as on. it is this day. To no, hold save on. All people alive. No, that is what Joseph said. No, that, that now that was after Joseph became what he became as the prime minister. Yeah. But we exactly. did, through, through this process, Joseph didn't know. Joseph didn't know, even though the, the, the father has technically interpreted the dream to him. But the truth is, sometimes we may, we, may, we may understand that, God's that, revelation. That interpretation, when Joseph began to see certain things happening, that yes. interpretation was giving him some meaning. No, action. no, it is not true. Listen, let me okay. tell you one thing. You know, go through scriptures and go through even we are as human beings. Remember, re remember, remember John the Baptist. What happened in the life of John the Baptist when he yeah. sent his own servants, his own disciples, rather, to go yeah. ask Jesus Christ to, uh, to okay. find out, confirm from him. Is he the man that we is he the one or we should we're expect for, well, we should look, we should expect someone else to come, whatever? Mm. What happened? It was because Joseph, uh, the, what's his name? Um, John was already losing faith. Because the mm. process, the process was had, had become so painful that he just felt, oh, no, no, this can no longer be God. And the same thing happened. The same thing happened. The same thing happened in the life of Joseph. That no, no, no more human being will ever believe that, okay, he got this revelation, but honestly, I bet you that Joseph couldn't have ever thought that. Being in prison was part of be, him becoming something. The process. He can, it's never. Part of the process. Go, go through scriptures. You will find out that people that pass through such oh. things, they, they lost faith at one point, including Elijah, for God's sake. The, the, the powerful, the oh. unpowerful Elijah. Even himself, he lost faith. He lost faith that he wanted to ask God to kill him. I was running away from a man, just common woman, for God's sake. As great as that man was. So, look, it is, that is just the reality, man of God. And mm -hmm. there is just no how you can, Joseph did it, and you can't see it. God made it in a way that, he made, then what makes us human beings? If, if we could sense it, uh, could, let, let me be frank with you. Um, if we could sense it that the moment we sense no, that. Yeah. No, 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 no. The, the, no, 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 no. That is good. God, God revelation is progressive. As you move, he reveals. He can never show you everything at the same time. Correct. That is the point. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is the point. So you can never so God, that, will only, God will only show so you something. He only show you what yeah, but but so he will you not can you build know. your faith. Correct. As but he will never he will never show you how to fulfill how you will fulfill it. No, 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 no. That no, no. Just some it. of us, some of us will run. Who oh, abandoned if he shows you what you will go through? Yeah, yeah. that is just it. So, and that is why I that's why I do not believe that Joseph 
Joseph made that statement because he already became prime minister and saw the reason why God, yeah. why he passed through all what he passed through, or whatever. So okay, so and that was why he was not offended anymore because he said, "Why you think with me?" Yes, Joseph was not Peter. Well, of course, why I go first? I don't become yeah. prime minister now. Now, 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 so when God elevates us, we should not seek for revenge. It's Amen. very important. Yeah, very, Amen. very important. You know. Amen. And another thing that, you know, Joseph acknowledged God so much. Yeah, Even when yeah. they talk about the interpretation of dreams, he said that it is... Yeah. You, it, no, Joseph actually, strong. yes. He was actually known to be humble. Yeah. Humble. That was, yeah. Exactly. was humble. Yeah. And, um, and that is yeah, just... he was a humble person. Mm -hmm. was very humble. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, man of God. Um, what a time well spent. Um, this is. Yeah. I, um, I think this is how we should be doing it, interacting. Yes, because um, yeah. I actually want to have uh, a situation where we will be on opposing side because that is what yeah. actually helps us to grow. Um, yeah, sort agree. of That's so, true. and that is um, that is it, and it, it actually gives more um, uh, energy. Excitement yeah. to, the, to the show, yeah. it's sort yeah. of um, unlike twelve. We seem to 90, 99 and a half percent of the time we seem to play along with each other. We believe in, um, we believe we have yeah. similar understanding of the scripture. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. I, I think that, that that is not the purpose. Yeah, of course. Mm. So. That's so, not the purpose. I will, I will. This is my pastor friend. Uh, I will I will talk him into it. I will want to bring him to the show. Well, yes. you know, whenever we want to talk about that matter, you understand. Uh, I yeah. will I will talk to him and then uh, you know, and I will also you know look at you know some erudites and um, you know talk to them. Yeah, so, yeah, that would be so great because um, that 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 topic I really need somebody that can really 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 uh, prove me wrong. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. I'll, I'll, I'll need oh, someone oh, who, yeah. someone that can really prove me wrong with really interpretation mm. of those scriptures. Mm. All right, man of God. Um, well. yeah, thank, thank you so you. very much. Um, viewers, um, yeah, this, uh, this, is, this show today um, seemed to look um, peculiar and unique, um, different from our previous shows, uh, interactive and the kind of I, I, it's somehow argumentative as well, a sort of uh, which is uh, which is normal. We can always agree, to, uh, disagree to agree. Um, it is scriptural. Um, it happened in the book of Acts. Uh, the, the, the apostles had these disagreements from once in a while, sometimes like that. It's natural. Um, it's normal. It just it just can't it can't just flow the same direction all the time. Um, there is always as a child of God, if you want to grow, there should be should be. You should have. You should be ready for um for a, an opposition of where you stand, either opposing yeah. someone, or someone opposing you, for the purpose for the purpose of edification, not okay. for the purpose of competition or any whatever. Okay. For for edification purpose, okay. um, because the purpose of all this back and forth, just like I said, I want someone to actually prove me wrong. Why? Because um, some sometimes there are scriptures that. I just I I God God reveals to me in a certain way that I I just wish it it is just not it what I what I think it is or what mm -hmm. I understand it to be. I just expect I think I I I just I just expect I just think it is something it should be the other way around or whatever. Just like this topic you yeah. want to treat, a sort of um I I just I still find I have like one scripture, just one. So far, I think one or two, two that is that actually um, it kind of contradicts all this. But there are, like I said, I have between forty and sixty. If not more. Maybe, maybe, maybe you will send me those two scriptures. Let me look into it too. Maybe you just send them to me. Yeah. Okay. Let I'll just, I'll yeah, write yeah. I'll write them out because the truth is. Okay, please. please. I, I I did it from Genesis uh, from the beginning of the year. I studied it. I got all this scripture from the beginning of the year. To the end of wow. the year. 
So yeah. it was different, different. So it was rough, rough running. Okay. Not, so I have okay. to rearrange and write them out to clear or whatever. Okay. And then, okay. so that is just, some of them are just clearly unambiguous. Some of them are say, okay, you can understand it this way or that way. But some of them are just clear. So I try to look like some of them that are clear. I've tried to use the Hebrew, Hebrew Bible too, and okay. the Hebrew and Greek, whatever, to see if there is what is saying in English is actually different it's from different whatever. From um, some, of, some of them, I, I've not confirmed all of them, but some of them, the key ones, especially the ones that came from the mouth of Jesus Christ, a sort of our Lord mm. Jesus Christ. So um, mm. the, the Greek and Hebrew Bible still says the same, basically the same thing. Sort of. So yeah. Uh, anyway, um, viewers, thank you so much. Uh, we've been having this um wonderful, um, insightful conversation um with our wonderful great man of God, Apostle Indifrika Imo, and um, yeah, we therefore uh, we shall be calling to an end, um, or bringing to an end this wonderful show. Uh, before then, um, again, this is uh, Jibrin Angu um, on Oweleke TV. Uh, this is a gospel segment. We have the political and current affairs segment of the Jibrin Angu, and this is the gospel angle. I am I'm a, I am current affairs or politically inclined, uh, but more of um, a spiritual kind of person. I believe in, I apply spirituality to everything that I do in my life, even though I am, I'm a very, very imperfect person, um, but I try my best, anything I want to do, I will first of all ask, what does the scripture say about this? Or what, what does the scripture say about that or whatever? Even though some of them, even sometimes I ask myself that question, I still, the flesh in me still, still go against that scripture. After even, even quoting the scripture to myself, it's sort of, um, so we just believe in God to really help us to really adhere to the scriptures, um, to his commands, commandments in, the, in, the, in his word. So uh, man of God, thank you so much. Before we round up, uh, viewers, uh, if okay. this is your first time, uh, please subscribe to this um, platform. On We are on all major social media platforms. We're on X, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and my main platform is YouTube. Our website is very robust website. Visit our website if you want to know more. Um, www.oleke.tv. Um, find us there, and um, and that is it. Uh, like I said, subscribe to our platform and uh, put on your notification bell so whenever our uh, uh, pro our programs, um, especially Jibri Angle, is uploaded, you'll be able to notif you'll be able to get uh, be notified. We have other interesting programs on this on this platform on this on this uh, channel that uh, um, you can that, that can that can actually make your day in one way or the other. Um, so thank you so very much. Um, if this is the first time, and if you are a returning audience um, or viewer, uh, we appreciate your encouragement, and uh, we pray that God will bless you. Man of God, please can you round up this whole, um, this segment for us and. Uh, with an exhortation and the word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this fruitful time in your presence. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for the direction. Thank you for the key things that you have helped us to pick in the life of Joseph. I pray that the Holy Spirit will grant us the grace to apply these things. May we not just be here as alone, but let us be doers of these things that we have heard today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for seeing us through the month of May. And the May is rounding up. We are entering another month. May this new month that we are entering be a month ordained for somebody's miracle, mm -hmm. for somebody's breakthrough, for somebody's visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you, O God, because you are the God that knows the issues in the lives of your people. Lord, like you preserve Joseph, may you preserve that person that Amen. is in a tight corner. May Amen. you help the person to understand that there is light at the end of the other, the other cool. side. The Bible says that weeping may endure for the night, but Amen. joy cometh in the morning. Mm. May we not give up. 
in the night hour. May Amen. we not turn back in the night hour. Amen. May we push and follow through unto the morning of our joy in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are the God that does not fail. You are the God that will never abandon your own. Amen. May you show up when it looks as if all hope is lost. Take mm. all the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. God bless you too. Amen. Um, all right, viewers, see you next time. And remain blessed.